Okay, here's section two. And here we're going to work on simplifying radicals when they're in the denominator. And we worked on that in class today, but I just wanted to go over it quickly. So let's take the square root of 81 divided by 49. So just to review, oops, why do I do that? Okay, okay I'm tired of this color. Let's do something else. Green. Okay. So just to review, a radical with a, um, a fraction under, under it, you can separate into the square root of 81 over the square root of 49. Okay, the square root of 81 is obviously 9. The square root of 49 is 7. Again, memorize your perfect squares at least 1 through 13 or 14. And your life will go much better. So here, they've taken care of the splitting up, and the square root of 24 is equal to the square root of or 2 times the square root of 6. We did that on the last slide. Square root 125 is 5 times the square root of 5. Okay. And that's our answer. We can't do anything else with that. Okay. Except that we need to get rid of that uh, 5, that square root of 5 in the denominator. So... We multiply by the square root of 5, okay, which is 1, and we're going to get 2 times the square root of 6 times the square root of 5 over 5 times the square root of 5 squared. And if you remember from class, Okay, the square and the root cancel each other out, so I end up with 5 times 5. Okay, I can combine the 6 and the 5. Okay, 2 times square root of 30. Okay, so it's 2 times the square root of 30 over 25. And that's your answer. Okay, that's a little bit longer. Had done. Okay, so the next one again is pretty easy. Square root of 121 over square root of 16. Okay, again, because you've memorized your perfect squares, you know that the square root of 121 is 11, and your square root of 16 is 4. Your answer is 11 over 4. Okay, so this next one. Number four is a little bit trickier. It's a little bit longer. Okay, so let's look at it. Three times the square root of five over square root of 25. Okay, actually, it's not bad at all. So we end up, can't do anything with the top. Three times the square root of five. But we know, because we know our perfect squares, that the square root of 25 is five. Okay, so you end up with three-fifths times the square root of five, and you're done. So the only tricky one was up here, okay, where you had to actually clear that, um, um, change colors here. Okay, you actually had to clear the um, radical in the denominator, and you did it by multiplying square root of five over square root of five. Okay, that's it for this guy.